Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here today with Vicki Ziegler, a top New York divorce attorney. And it seems like all we're doing these days, Vicki, is talking yeah. about divorce. So there's a new report today on Radar Online that yeah. says that Johnny Depp and his longtime girlfriend of 14 years, Vanessa Paradis, they have two kids together, that they are headed yeah. for Splitsville. Yes. Now, since they were never married, what can she get? Can she get anything? <laughs> All right, so we don't know too much about their holdings. We don't know how much in terms of what they have together, what they have separately. We know Johnny Depp's a gazillionaire and makes a lot of money on all of his superstar movies. Right. What we do know in the state of California, if that's where they're going to file anything, Vanessa can try to request palimony. What does that mean? It sounds like alimony. It sounds like alimony, but it's pal for unmarried couples. Interesting. So okay. there's a distinction. They've never been married. Can she prove that he said to her orally or in a written contract, which is obviously much easier, we yeah. can take a look at it, I will take care of you for the rest of your life. You don't have to marry me. I orally make that promise to you. But that sounds like a he said, she said kind of battle. It is. Okay. And that's why it's so difficult to get palimony. California is one of those jurisdictions, though, that will allow for spousal support even though you're not married. So a lot of people are speculating, oh, she could get up to half of his earnings. I think that's very unlikely okay. because they've never been married. But she could get a huge form of support for, perhaps for the rest of her life, but she's got to prove it. And it's very hard to prove that. Okay. Hey, you know what? I said I like your necklace. And when I left, I said I didn't like it. How are you going to prove? What did right. I say? Right. Unless it's on camera. Now, about the palimony, though, how are some ways so that she could prove maybe an oral agreement? I know that we talked earlier about some different things if you want to tell our readers about that. I mean, you said something about like a life insurance policy and things right. like that. If you act as if man, you are man and wife and you do things that normal, normal married couples do, such as getting life insurance, making sure that the, your female, your partner, we'll call her, um, has medical insurance that you planned in the will, God forbid you passed away, that she'd have all of your assets or a bulk of them. That so if she can prove that he really cared about her well-being, <laughs> right. yes. then maybe she'll get yes. some palimony? It's, okay. it's strange, and these cases are far and few between. Many people don't bring any action. Now, wh which way does California lean? Will they kind of have, like, sympathy for Vanessa and maybe... Well, that's a great question. Okay. Maybe during their courtship, he gave her $100 million and said, you know what, take it. I want to make sure you're okay no matter what. And that's kind of my promise to you, don't marry me, because right. I'm scared of marriage and divorce, but you're going to be okay. You don't look sympathetic if you come into a court and you say, I have $100 million in my column. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we really don't know how much she has. If she has zero and she has these two kids, she's going to get a hefty child support amount. Okay. And she may, in fact, get some type of palimony or alimony. And then what about this, the country of France? They live mm -hmm. there quite a bit. Yes. What is France do with that kind of so there's an right there's an interesting dynamic there they've created something called PACS P A C S and basically what it is is if you if two people agree to register like a domestic partnership mm -hmm. they would have the same rights as married couples wow, almost okay. akin but we don't know if they've actually done that Right. So if they have, then she's standing to inherit a lot of money. They seem like a very laid-back couple, so I, I, I'm just very curious yeah. to see uh, what happens with this. But, you know, you hear all the time about common-law marriages mm -hmm. and things like that. Is there any truth to that? You live with someone for seven years, basically, what's mine is yours kind of thing? Certain states do have it. California is one that does not uh, accept and look at common law. So you have to really know what state you live in and kind of check it out on the web or go to an attorney to make sure you know. If you're not getting married, do you have a common-law marriage statute? And if you do, then you're in better shape. Yeah. It sounds like before you get married, not only do you need to pick up the cake and the dress, but you need to figure out what state is most beneficial for your divorce. <laughs> Premarital planning. And your book, right? Yes, yes. and okay. it's coming out next in the next couple months. We okay. want to make sure we talk about it. And all your viewers and your members and everyone going to HollywoodLife.com, they need to read it because yes. it's so important to prepare for the marriage, not just and the wedding. And have you draw up everyone's prenups. I Absolutely. Think so. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming in and breaking that down for us. Yes. For all the latest celebrity news, gossip, style, and more, check out HollywoodLife.com.